The following video covers a task from the FAA Commercial Pilot Glider Practical Test Standards. Area of Operation 4, Launches and Landings. Item D, Task, Aero Tow, Slack Line. The objective is to determine that the applicant, one, exhibits knowledge of the elements related to the causes, hazards, and corrections related to slack line and two, recognizes slack line and applies immediate, positive, and smooth corrective action to eliminate slack line in various situations. Slack in the tow line may occur on tow for several reasons, such as a rapid pitch down of the glider, recovering too quickly from being high on tow, turbulence on tow, or turning too far inside the tow plane and a tow plane power reduction during cross-country aero tow or descent on a cross-country tow. The examiner may induce slack in the tow line. I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. Then request the applicant to smoothly eliminate the slack. Proper exchange of flight controls by verbal acknowledgement is required. You have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. And you have the flight controls. The scenario is that the glider pilot allowed the glider to get too high on tow, then dives down too quickly to the proper tow position, inducing slack in the tow line. Applicant responds with corrective actions. Examiner may request the yaw method away from the slack tow line or the air brake or spoiler method to reduce the slack. Reaction to the slack line should be immediate with positive and smooth application of the flight controls for the proper amount of correction required to eliminate the slack. As the slack is eliminated, the corrective action is reduced and the glider should return to the normal tow position slightly above the tow plane wake. During this task, the slack line should never come close enough to the glider to create a hazard such as looping around the wing. Should the slack line become excessive or a large secondary or oscillating slack line occurs or the glider remains far out of proper position, an option for the glider pilot is to release the tow line. After the maneuver is complete, the examiner may also request that the tow pilot give the close air brakes something is wrong with your glider airborne rudder waggle signal. Applicant must respond correctly and not mistake the tow plane rudder waggle for the wing rock immediate release signal. Common student errors include the applicant does not verbally acknowledge the exchange of flight controls, slow to respond to slack line, does not apply flight controls smoothly, yaws into the tow line instead of safely away from the tow line, yaws the glider more than needed so when the slack comes out a second slack may appear. After applying the appropriate amount of air brakes or spoilers, the applicant does not retract them promptly as slack comes out, creating an unnecessary shock load on the tow plane and glider or possibly breaking the tow rope. Does not completely close and lock the air brakes or spoilers. Does not return to the normal tow position slightly above the tow plane wake releases the tow line when given the rudder waggle signal by the tow plane, or questions or is slow to respond to the tow plane wing rock immediate release signal.